I'm Emily Grace King, Exhibition Manager here at the Arvada Center. Right now we're in our exhibition 5280, the Regional Jury Printmaking Exhibition. We have a really wide variety of traditional and contemporary techniques. So we're going to start with a relief printmaking process. This is one of the five major ones that we have represented in the exhibition. This piece by Lauren Fedden is called Reflections, and it's a great way to start talking about the process of making a relief print. If you've ever used a rubber stamp, you've made a relief print, which is really cool. Woodcuts are one of the ways you can make relief prints by carving into wood and then inking what's left. So here, Lauren has carved into this wooden door and taken out any negative space that she didn't want to be in the final design leaving a raised area, and then that raised area is inked using a tool called a brayer to apply ink to all of the raised areas on the piece, and then use the paper to um, lead the paper over each, each piece and pull it off to make this design. You can see in the design that it's, it's a reflection, right, of the door. So everything that she carved in comes out in reverse in the final print. This is a real door. Lauren took the hardware off of her door and put it onto the print piece. The little door hook and the lock to make it really seem like it's the door itself. So here's another relief print from the exhibition. This one's by Karen Wright. Um, it's called Yin Yang Rose and it's a wood cut that's on black linen. So in the last piece that we saw, all the printed areas had been printed with black ink on white paper. This one's kind of the opposite. The linen that it's printed on is black and then the artist used white ink. This means that all the areas that you see that are black are the areas that the artist carved out to make that plate for making this relief print. She's really interested in nature and loves taking shapes and abstracting them down into more simple forms um, and is really interested in the interconnectedness of science and nature and spirituality. This woodblock print from Kristen Powers Nolan questions stereotypes and assumptions about race. Um, this piece is from one of her newer series called Protest Prints. And she uses this series to talk about the importance of protest in our current political society. So now we're getting into some color in our relief prints. So this one is made from a single lino cut block. And that one block was, had black applied and then also had the teal applied. This piece, Putting Down Roots by Sarah Sally O'Hodge, is, like I said, it's a lino cut. And this is the first one of these we've seen too. So artists use a lino block like this and a very sharp carving tool to carve away the negative areas on the block. And then this is essentially like that rubber stamp we were talking about that you might have used at home. This gets inked again with a brayer or you might have used a pad and then the paper gets applied onto the paper and pulled off. So in Sarah's piece she's working with the intersection of man and nature. You can see the, the rabbit here. She's added some sewing detail, so she's mixing a couple of different techniques and mediums outside of printmaking into this piece. And then this hand is lifting the rabbit up. And you can't really tell, it's kind of ambiguous whether this hand is helping the rabbit or is it hurting the rabbit. It's the same thing with the sewn roots. You don't really know if they're holding the rabbit down and the rabbit wants to be lifted or if they're providing kind of this stable environment. So it has a lot of really interesting context that we can all think about when we think about our relationships to nature and our own environments. So our last piece for talking about rela uh, relief processes is this reductive woodcut by Wida Tushan. It's titled Tree of Life. And a reductive woodcut is really interesting. So the artist takes their block of wood, you can see this was a pretty big block of wood, and they carve out just the negative space for the first color. So here you can see the kind of this background um, brown tone that goes up to blue is the largest portion. So the artist prints that color and they print as many, you know, it on as many pieces of paper as their edition. And then they go back to the wood block and carve out more material to print the next layer of the design. And that's in a different color and gets printed. Then they go back to the wood block again and carve out and carve out. So it's a repetitive process of carving out, inking the wood block, putting the paper down, pulling it off to build up all of these different layers of color. And you can see this piece has a lot of color and a lot of detail. So that was quite the process for the artist. This piece is titled Tree of Life, and the artist said that when she completed the piece, um, it originally had a different title, but she didn't feel like it was quite done and wanted to incorporate some text into the work. Um, right around that same time, the horrible tragedy happened at the Tree of Life Synagogue in um, Pittsburgh, and she felt moved by that to go into the Hebrew Bible and find this passage about the Tree of Life and incorporate that text into the work 
um, in, in honor of that horrible tragedy that happened.